South of Weems is the Royal Borough of Coo Ross on the Firth of Forth. This picturesque town played an active role in the 16th to 18th century witch trials. I'm meeting Linda Whiteford at the townhouse, where those accused of witchcraft were tried and imprisoned. There's very little here that talks about the witch trials. Do people tend to go in here to look at where the witches were held? Is this a tourist attraction? No, you can't really do that. And it, to be honest, it'd be a little bit disrespectful because these were ordinary people, men and women, mostly women, because you needed to shut them up. You didn't want them getting too political. Or to make money was to call somebody a witch because somebody had to pay for the torture for the confessions, and the longer the confessions took, the more the families had to pay, and the money went to the minister and the councillors. I firmly believe that if this kind of thing was happening now, I would be in danger, because I'm a woman with an education, with an opinion, didn't really want to marry a bloke, so I'd love to find out more. Can we go and find out some more? Absolutely. Did we you go to church on Sunday? You're a witch. <laughs> God, I thought my dad was phoning me. <laughs> in the 1600s, dozens of people were convicted of witchcraft in Kuros. At times, so many were rounded up that the townhouse couldn't hold them all. Can I just warn you that some people just can't make it up the stairs because they feel that something is actually pushing them back and they're not meant to be going up there? Brace yourself. <laughs> It was here that the accused were taken and confessions extracted. Why were they held up here? If you were accused of being a witch, you had to be kept away from the devil as much as possible, as far away as possible from the devil. The devil was down there. There were two rooms and um, they were both used for the process of torture. These were often people who'd done really nothing wrong because then, as I understand it, in kind of the witch trials, you could accuse your neighbour if you just... What was that? I don't know. OK. I feel... Like you're going to cry? I feel like I'm going to cry. And I feel weird. And I've never experienced this in my life before. But it, it just... There's such emotion. I don't know, you're watching all thinking, what a pile of nonsense. I'm a very level-headed woman. This place, literally, I'm hanging on for dear life, and I don't know what I'm hanging on for. This is not a tourist attraction. It's part of Scotland's history, but it's not for someone to pay £10 and walk around taking selfies. No. This is more than that, isn't it? Whew. You're experiencing just a little bit of what some of that emotion that was here in the 1600s. And yeah. it's really, really special, and you will never forget that. Oh. I tell you something, Linda, in my travels around Scotland, I am not going to forget coming into this room at all. So thank you. I'm glad not many people come here, but I'm very, very glad I did. So let's very carefully and respectfully exit. I'm going to let go of the chair now. <laughs> I'll be fine. 